Hey guys, it's Dave, and I'm at the grave of Lava Klein. Uh, Indiana is home to not one, but two of the most famous dollhouse graves here in the United States. Uh, they're actually about 25 miles apart. Uh, Vivian May Allison's is a little bit better known in Connersville just because it's really visible. Uh, the dollhouse grave here of Lava Klein um, is kind of tucked back into the, uh, uh, the end of Arlington East Hill Cemetery, uh, kind of near the railroads here. And it's pretty hard to spot on Google View. Uh, born in 1902, uh, she was the only child of George and Mary Klein. Uh, her time on Earth was pretty pretty short. Uh, records show that uh, she had suffered from chronic crippling neurological condition, and although diagnosed this is vague, really at best, her parents George and Mary doted on her. Uh, when she passed in 1908, she left her parents and the entire really community crushed. Uh, sources differ on the origin of the dollhouse itself. Most described it as her favorite toy during her her brief life. Uh, her unspecified affliction kept her bedridden, and her father, who was a carpenter, uh, designed this house, and as you can see inside here, just uh, you can easily see into the dollhouse, a uh, little wasp there, but all the little toys of dolls that she would play with, uh, these are all been replaced, of course, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, her father built this uh, as a memory, and you can see lots of people left toys behind for her. Um... More modern accounts in 1909 said most of the work was all done by her father and grandfather, George and C.C. Klein, and uh, they spent quite a bit of time and money uh, creating this. Uh, this memorial was really pretty large at the time, larger than most, about five feet tall and almost three feet long or wide on each side. And you can see the large windows looking in. Um, originally, there used to be a, a stained glass, um, but uh, in 1973, there was a... Uh, Thieves shattered the stained glass windows and stole all the furniture out of it. Um, those items have never been recovered in the community here. Uh, they pulled together the resources and you know, rebuilt the house, re reinforcing it, and filled it with a lot of new toys. And you can see here they have a, a, dis a bigger description of the whole whole event that led to the dollhouse and uh, pretty pretty amazing little history. Um, so this is you know the, the community of Arlington has really taken care of this house and. And has maintained it and kept it, try to keep it weather tight, not quite wasp tight, but uh, uh, very, very nice. And um, you can see she's uh, she's got a uh, really a beautiful memorial uh, amongst the cemetery here. And this is on the uh, really the west end of the cemetery. There's a road right up to it, so it's it's pretty easy to get to. You just can't see it from the highway out front here. Um, but it's the last road here on the uh, on the edge of the cemetery. And we'll just keep walking around here, uh, looking at it. You can see the stone out front. Uh, this would be her parents, as well as uh, as well as little uh, Lava, uh, buried out front here. Uh, really, the only image uh, I could find of Lava was her funeral image, and uh, I'll put that up here. This is a uh, little Lava laying um, uh, laying at rest here before her funeral. Yeah, we'll take a little peek in the window here. As I zoom in, you can see the little. Oh, you can see my shoe in the reflection, but all the toys in there. Um, you know, living room, bedroom. We'll put Ramona Lisa there in the corner. Little dining set, tea set, coffee set, whatever you want to call it. And chair. All the toys a little girl would would uh, obviously love playing with at the time. And you can see these are all replacements again from the 1973. Uh, uh, break in um, or vandalism of the uh, of the of the uh, of the grave. A little bit of water damage there, but all in all, really in, in amazing amazing shape. And there's a little close up of some of the toys left behind uh, by people paying their respect. Not surprisingly, with any unique grave, uh, they say this one's haunted. Uh, people say a glow has been seen within the little dollhouse windows at dusk. And you know it has no lights. Orbs have been spotted nearby, and the tiny furniture supposedly moves around uh, about it as Lava, you know, plays with it. And again, there we can see Mary and George, her parents, and Lava. You know, her parents died almost uh, 30 years later, a year apart. So they're all buried together here uh, at the Arlington East Cemetery here in Rushville, Indiana.